We're going to use a limit comparison to determine whether the series converges or diverges. To determine what we should compare to, we can look at the leading term in both the numerator and the denominator. We expect that this series behaves similarly to a series with just an n cubed in the numerator and an n to the fourth in the denominator. Simplifying tells us that we expect our series to behave like 1 over n. To make that comparison, what we're going to do is we're going to take the term inside of our original series and we're going to divide that by the series that we want to compare to. In this case, that's 1 over n. Then we have to simplify using a little bit of algebra. We will just flip over this 1 over n and put it in the numerator. That's going to give us this limit here. And since both the numerator and the denominator have an n to the fourth power, then we know that this limit is going to converge to 8 over 2, which is just 4. OK, so if we're actually answering these questions, to me it makes the most sense for 8n to the fourth minus 2n cubed plus 8n to be here. And it makes sense for 8 plus 2n to the fourth to be here. Then we take our limit and we get 4. Now this limit that we found is finite and it's also not zero. So what the limit comparison test says is that our original sum and the sum of bn, the sum that we are comparing to, behave the same. They either both converge or they both diverge. Well, we know that this sum, the infinite sum of 1 over n, diverges. That is a p series with p equals 1, so it definitely diverges. And what that tells us is that our sum also must diverge. And okay, I think that does it for that problem. I hope this helped you out, and I'll see y'all in the next one.